Hello folks, this is Greg Jacobs here. And okay, now the four hour app machine, it's a very, very powerful strategy that teaches you how to go out there and you know, best results that I've seen is someone with absolutely no prior experience making $4,500 in their first four hours. Obviously results are gonna vary. Um, everybody's not gonna have that same success, but you need to know people that have never used this before have gone out there and, um, and went and used this, okay? Now the reason being is because mobile and very very specifically uh, mobile apps is a new market it's a blue ocean market meaning that there's opportunity it's also a 45 billion dollar market now there's a lot of markets out there that um, you know are worth billions and billions of dollars but they're they're not going to be that interesting to you the reason they're not going to be that interesting to you is because there's huge barriers of entries and there's no way that you as uh, you know a home entrepreneur maybe working with a partner or your husband or wife are you gonna be able to break into that industry but the very very cool thing about the the mobile industry is that the mobile industry uh, the mobile app industry is being powered by small mom and pop businesses these are um, one to two person businesses often being run from their home. Um, there are bigger companies, but these bigger companies usually start as one or two person operations uh, being run from the home. So it's, it's a huge industry. There's billions, literally billions of dollars being made and there's an avenue for entry, okay? Now, um, the way that you're gonna go and enter the mobile app industry using the four hour app machine. Now there's other ways which, we'll, which we can go cover in other training like for example, you could go and build niche affiliate sites, okay? Now that's gonna be another way that we're gonna go ahead and make money with mobile apps. But this training is specifically geared towards local businesses, okay? So go ahead and listen to this technique, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and find a local, we're gonna go ahead and find a local business. Um, uh, there's a lot of different categories we can use. I'm just gonna go here to um, this little dashboard right here. Um, and look at some of the recommended categories. So there's auto artists and galleries, auto services, doctors and dentists, hair salons, health and fitness, legal services, merchants, musicians, uh, bars and clubs and nonprofits, okay? Now, all of these are gonna go, all these categories are gonna be very, very powerful for you to go and approach. Um, however, we've found in our experience, the ones that are gonna be easier to sell are the ones that have the need to go and contact uh, their customers on an ongoing basis. Because when you go build your mobile app, there's something in there called uh, push notifications. And what a push notification is, is once that app is installed on the user's phone, you can go and contact that user anytime you like via a simple little pop-up on their phone. What, what this means is if, if, a, if your client's running a business, with time sensitive promotions like a hair salon or a bar or something, um, they, can go and, they can go and get all their user base to install the app um, and we'll, we'll show you in a minute how to get them to install the app. And then go ahead and say, well listen, you know, you know, for a month I'll sell you the app for $1,000 and I'll charge you $200 a month maintenance. But for that, all you have to do is just send me an email every time you want to do a push notification. So for example, if um, if you go and sell it to say a, a restaurant or something, um, wh what actually happens is the restaurant will get all of their loyal customers to go and install the app. And then on let's say like a Tuesday night, let's say Tuesday is a really, really slow night and you know Friday and Saturdays are packed, but Tuesday nobody ever comes in. On Tuesday afternoon, they can go do a push notification to all the people that have the apps installed, say, oh, special tonight, special coupon tonight, 50% off or whatever, whatever. I mean, it's just a random example, probably not a great one, but you you, you get the point. So um, push notifications are you know gonna be a very, very powerful selling tool for you because it allows people to go instantly keep in touch with, um, with, uh, with all the people who um, downloaded their app, okay? So, th so those are things that offer real-time services, you know? So for example, hair salons, um, health, and, uh, health and fitness, maybe they'll have some sort of special personal trainer discount. Um, hotels and resorts, obviously, because they can go and say, well, you know, this weekend getaway, special discount. Um, you know, if you get other things like doctors and dentists or real estate agents, um, they're gonna buy They're gonna buy this just the same and they're, they, they're an easy sell in some regards because they, um, they usually have a nice budget to spend and you know it's more about their vanity and you know creating a single high quality product that they can distribute to uh, that they can go ahead and distribute to their um, 
to their client base, but they're not going to think, need things like push notifications. Like the, the you're not going to install the app from the dentist and say, you know, this Friday only half off on Wisdom Tooth Extraction. <laughs> but but you guys but you guys you guys get the point, okay? Um, so what you're going to do is the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and um, get the appointment with them, okay? So you call them up, you get the appointment, and the general the general um, the general script that you're going to use, and we go through this more in the PDF. Um, this video is kind of an, uh, an accompaniment to the PDF. I'm not repeating all the exact same information. Um, you call them up and you say, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, yada, 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 mobile app, okay? And then you say, you know, could I have a 10 minute appointment today? And in that 10 minute appointment, I can show you how to go and add 10% to your bottom line, okay? Then what you do, is you get the appointment with them, okay? When you get the appointment for Friday afternoon or something, and then before the appointment, you do a little research. For, you do a little research on them on the internet. You see if they have a website. You see if they have Facebook. See if they have a YouTube channel. These sort of things. You gather all this information, and then before the meeting, you go ahead and build a mobile app. Now here's a mobile app that I went and built for um, a meeting. I'm going to go schedule with Dr. Bell. Well, Dr. Bell is a dentist based out of. Uh, Carlsbad, California. Okay, so I, I, call, I called up Dr. Bell um, and I said, hey, Dr. Bell, can I get 10 minutes of uh, your time on Friday and I'll show you how to go and, you know, add branding to your brand and add money to your bottom line. And Dr. Bell says, sure, but if, if you don't impress me, I'm going to take one of your teeth out. I'm like, okay, Dr. Bell, I'll make, I'll make sure to go ahead and impress you. Okay. So I did a little research on Dr. Bell on the web and I found out that Dr. Bell had a blog and, you know, he was from Carlsbad. Um, I, I saw he didn't have a he didn't have a Facebook account um, at least a business one so you know I also do other local marketing so what I figure is when I go to the meeting with Dr. Bell I can also you know say well do you want me to manage your Facebook account for you as well okay so what I did um, using this software right here and we'll show you in the next video how this software works um, is I went and created a mobile app uh, for Dr. Bell before the meeting because using the software it only took 10 minutes to go ahead and make this app. Um, I've, so, and within the, this is just kind of you know a virtual preview of what the software looks like. So, you can see there's a picture of Dr. Bell. There's click to go to directions to Dr. Bell's place. Um, you can click to call, click to email. Um, it automatically go ahead and interacts with Dr. Bell's blog. So, um, you know people can keep up to date on their phone with Dr. Blog, uh, Dr. Blog, <laughs> with Dr. Bell. Okay. Um, now people are going to install this app because you know they're 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 Dr. Bell's um, they're Dr. Bell's patients, but you know for them to actually use it, we got to give them some really really interesting content. So you know I don't think Dr. Bell has enough content to go fill up an entire application and make it interesting unless he posts like daily photos of tooth extractions, you know. But that that's that's another niche market in itself for people that want to see that. So so what I did is because uh, Dr. Bell is based in Carlsbad, California, so. It's a little city outside of San Diego. Is I wanted to set up some local news because I assume all of his clients are going to be from Carlsbad or the surrounding area. So what we're, what we have here is we have local news for um, for Carlsbad. So somebody goes to Doctor Bell's office and Doctor Bell says, "Hey, go ahead and download my iPhone or my Android app." It's going to go and have local news and information. So in addition to Doctor's blog here, you have local Carlsbad news. Um, we have local Carlsbad daily deals as well. If you ever bought something from Groupon or something, everything's here. So you have all of these different daily deals um, from from Carlsbad, and then of course Carlsbad events. So so you can see what we're doing is we're we're really really adding value here to both Dr. Bell and his clients. Okay. Now, how much to go ahead and sell the app for? Well, it really really depends because you know a lot of the a lot of you will. You know, go in with strategies with, uh, with for SEO, or uh, you'll put up a website for them as well, or you do a Facebook account for them as well. But you know, it just depends how how easily and how fast you want to make the sale. Remember, you have zero cost per app. Have be having zero cost per app. You know, in my opinion, you're going to do a lot better by going and um, you know getting a system down and working through volume, fast sales, fast in, fast out. Um, I think if you're building a one oh, before we go on. The psychology of the meeting is during the meeting you come to Dr. Bell or your client with the app pre-made. So the meeting isn't about whether they want the app or not. The app's already done. The meeting is about customizing the app. They say, "Well, I don't like this, and I like this, and I don't like this." And you could actually go ahead and customize the app on the spot using the Sky Builder software. So that's a, that's a very very cool thing that you can do. 
Um, and, and, that, and that psychology actually works a lot better in selling them rather than, do you want this, do you want this? No, you say, look, it's already here. How are we gonna customize it? And in the process of them customizing with you, they're gonna psychologically go ahead and buy in. And by buying in, they're gonna say, okay, well, you know, I've already customized this. Okay, how much is it? So to the pricing, I mean, you can charge $2,000 an app. You can charge $2,500 an app. Um, I, I don't like to do that. I found that I can get almost everybody to buy if I go and charge $500 to $800 an app. And remember, it's no cost for me. It, caught, you know, it took me between research and building the app probably you know, 20 to 30 minutes. And the appointment is you know, 10 to 30 minutes. So, I mean, if I can make $500 to $800 in an hour, I think that's doing fine. So if it's a once-off where I'm just you know, building an app for Dr. Bell and it's done, you know, I'll charge him $500 to $800 and we're done. However, if you know, they want to be able to access push notifications, which are, you know, it's all the same to you, it's included in, in, in your license of using the software, um, then, then you can go ahead and charge them like a monthly maintenance fee and go ahead and make updates for them. So, you know, if you're going to really make this a business and churn out things, then, um, you know, what I think is a really, really cool way to do it is you charge them five to $800, you know, plus a $100 a month maintenance fee. And for that $100 a month maintenance fee, uh, you'll go ahead and send push notifications that they can just send you an email with the notification that they want. And, um, and, um, and, and it's pretty much have it. You generally go and have it like like that. So you know, from each client, you're getting five to eight hundred off the bat, and then a hundred going in. Now, this is really really easy. You can literally go down Main Street, just busting out these apps, and everybody is going to want one. Um, and you know, depending on your business, you could do other things like you can get you know stickers made for the windows. Ask us about this mobile app, or a little, you know, maybe part of your services you can get a little sign they can put on there next to their cash registers. Um, you know, saying, ask us how to download our mobile app, or, you know, or instructions how to do it. And these things, really, little things really, really go a long, long way, okay? Now, what I've shown you here is just one of the ways to go ahead and use um, and, and use the software. You can actually also go, um, I know there's some people out there that, you know, have no interest whatsoever in calling clients or going and visit, visiting with local clients. And, and that's okay, everybody has different business models. So what you can actually go ahead and do, what you can actually go ahead and do is you can also build niche apps. So here's an example of a niche app that I went and build for Rihanna and for Rihanna fans, okay? Um, now the way that you monetize with niche apps is by going ahead and putting AdMob on there, which is like you know an advertising network for, for this. And you also can do push notifications and there's also a paid push notification service. So if you go and do, um, if you don't wanna do local marketing, you don't wanna call people on that, what you could do is you could use the software to go ahead and build these niche apps and make money on it through advertising or through charging for downloads, okay? So right now you're probably going crazy. You're like, oh my God, Greg, that is absolutely incredible. I can see the business model. I can see I'm gonna earn money out like this. I'm gonna go out and schedule appointments right now. But there's one missing gap and you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, how do I make these apps? Okay, do we got you now? You're like, okay, how do we make these apps? Okay, so what you see right here um, the software that we're, you know, you could do it the hard way is going out and hiring programmers, but you know, that's going to cost you, you know, anywhere from, you know, 1000 to $8,000 per app because these people, uh, you know, they charge very, very expensive and it's buggy and you have to pay them to make updates and such. So we were thinking, wouldn't it be bit much better, um, if there was, um, wouldn't it be much better if there was a software out on there on the internet that, you know, people who go and do you know, mar niche marketing um, and also marketing to local businesses could go and make, uh, could go ahead and make their own um, apps, both for local marketing and for niche affiliate marketing, um, you know, from, from their computer. And so they wouldn't have to hire outsourcers or anything else. So the software here is called Sky Builder, okay? Um, 